Hey, welcome back everybody to day three of the four videos in four days on my channel. Uh, it's Builder Bear here. Before we get started with this showcase, if you could scroll down, click the like button, click subscribe, and then ring the bell. It's gonna keep you up to date on everything I have going on on my channel. And then if you could, sometime pop on over to Twitter, give me a follow on there. The link is in the description. Um, I do like to showcase myself on there a little bit more and I will be doing another giveaway soon. I used to do those a little bit, um, and I've decided that it's time to um, spread the joy. So be over there and looking out for the giveaway um, in the next few days. Okay, without further ado, Build of the Week Showcase. Over here, where'd you go? Right there. This house is by Kaminari, Kaminari, uh, Kami Nari. I don't I don't know how to pronounce the name. I never know how to pronounce anybody's name. It's a common theme here. But it is a modern house, like a contemporary modern house. It is huge. It is beautiful. It is wonderful. It is the bee's knees. You know what I'm saying? All of these signs, all of this love given to Kami, Kami Nari, Kami Nari. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. All right, please put signs in the driveway. They all did. Let's get a good outside shot of this thing. Look at all the trees, all the different vegetation. Oh, I like this. You have a little tiny, oh, very nice, very nice waterlogged um, stairs to give this water feature around the tree. Back here, you have a little outdoor kitchen area, some bamboo to give some privacy. I love all the different elevation changes going on. All the blocks are just absolutely amazing, wonderfully done. And then we will get to the back in a second. <gasps> a balcony, oh my goodness. I love balconies. There's two balconies, guys. Balconies make the world go round, okay? If you're living in a house and you don't have a balcony, you need to get a balcony. My house actually has a balcony. I literally never go out there though, so I don't know what I'm saying. All right, let's go in the house. First of all, coming through here, I like over on the side, you have um, like this eating area in the front of the house. And kind of, um, it's not really odd, I guess, because there's so much privacy here all around the house. It's completely private with the wall and the fence over there. Um, but I really like that feature. Uh, I love these statues that they have going on. That is, that is beautiful. Great use of the blocks for the base of the statue. Um, love the use of our, um, what are they called, rails for in our texture pack. I know Block Perfect Network has actually um, inspired the texture pack a little bit as well as Project Kielbasa. Um, so anyway, coming into the house. I love this foyer. Huge, probably a mirror I'm guessing. Um, some beautiful drawer. I like how you can actually tell those are drawer pulls. Super contemporary, super modern, clean lines everywhere. And check out this like, I don't even know, this, this wall with more of the bamboo, really just kind of building on the theme. Guys, check this out. A little bit of a living room area right off of the entryway. More of these wonderful reclining couches and seats straight into the dining room with a massive vaulted ceiling look at look at the design of all this stuff guys what is going on i feel this is like this is super rich pretty wealthy people live here i'm guessing and they just let bears in crazy vault suits look at that just a dirty vault suited mini bear come on i look like a child just run through the house that's crazy. Safety is clearly not important to these people. Didn't even lock their door. Just let me waltz right in. What is a bear doing in the middle of a neighborhood anyway, guys? Who, who knows? Who knows? Builder Bear just goes everywhere. All right, anyway, back to the showcase. Through here, I like the sliding door into the kitchen. Ooh, check out this kitchen. It feels so warm and so inviting. I love the yellow lights. I'm using Silder's Vibrant, by the way beautiful uh like sink design huh i guess this is murder scale isn't it yeah it's two blocks tall wonderful sink i like how it looks like it's sloped down you have a little eat-in area probably eating some breakfast over there and then a huge built-in shelf over there that's probably got some wine bottles in it usually 
massive fridge, just a wonderful designed kitchen. Um, and again, it kind of brings in, you saw those drawer pulls on the um, furniture in the front entryway. Really dope. Pretty cool how this is a pass through as well. You can probably set out the, you know, what you want on this thing and take them right outside. Also very well designed with the door right across from this outside door into this outdoor eating area so that, you know, you're not really having to walk all through the house with food. Really, really, really well designed. Love the layout. All right, back here, just a little desk area. What is over here? Nothing that is more outside. All right, let's go and tour the rest of the downstairs. Is this guest bathroom right over there? Again, really well designed. I love the mirrors in this house. And then through here, you have a gym. What is this? What are you? I don't know what that thing is. I'm scared. Is this something? Do, do I run on it? Is it a massive treadmill? I don't know what's happening here. Kimmy, what is that thing? Oh my goodness, I'm scared. This makes me feel like I don't go to the gym enough <laughs> because I don't know what the gym equipment is. But I love the design of the gym equipment. You have weights on the wall, you have a bench. Um, you Oh, this is probably a treadmill right here. Really wonderful. And then over here is a bathroom with a shower off of the gym. What more would you need? All right, let's go out the door. And then I guess we're going upstairs. Check out the railings on this thing. Dude, there's so much you can do with the um, with the rails being different colors. I know we have, we have black ones, we have white ones, uh, we have ones that look like windows, which really, really, really changes the game when you're making cars, um, when you're doing roofs, like all sorts of things. And I love how Cami's done it, you know, straight up and down here with this little partition wall. And then over here on an angle for the railing for the stairs. And that is wonderful. I love these stairs. Although I would be so scared to fall through. I feel like my dog would not go down those stairs either. All right, straight up at the top of the stairs, you have like the, I guess the TV lounge area. You're actually sitting down here watching some TV, wonderful TV design, massive L-shaped couch. And then a balcony. I love balconies. A little tiny balcony to come out here and yell down into the pool area. And again, more of this open, but it's separated. I think we saw that in the last house, how uh, this, this house feels very open, but all the spaces are their own spaces. And I mean, this is with, you know, the glass, you have all of these walls um, that are kind of pass through walls almost. Very well done, very, you know, good use of the materials to really, you know, the space feels cohesive, it all flows together, but, you know, people can hang out in different areas of the house. And then out here, we're at another balcony. This one has a little seating area. Look at that little lamp right there. Love the table design. Got some plants up here. Absolutely wonderful. And then another balcony. This one's overlooking. I like to run into walls, okay? I'm one one of these days I'll learn how to not run into things. This one's overlooking the outside a little bit. Going out there to make speeches for your kingdom. All right, let's go down the hall and see the rest of this house. This is the first bedroom and I love the design of this. This is obviously like a kid's or a teen's bedroom. They have their um, game system. They have a laptop right there. They have a, you know, a, an actual like screen, wonderful chair design. And then over here, they have a Jack and Jill bathroom, uh, which is conjoined obviously to two rooms. Beautiful design, I absolutely love it. And then over here is another bedroom. This one has two computers, what? Pulse was here and Lewis was here. Uh, Pulse and Lewis share this bedroom, it would appear. Uh, you have the hanging down TV. Ooh, look at this. Took a, uh, took a page out of Doug's book. Got some outlets by the bed. Wonderful design. I like the mouse pads too. I've never actually noticed that before. Pretty sick design. And they have their own balcony. This thing's huge. It goes all the way around. What does it connect to? Oh, it connects to the other bedroom. Okay, I like that. All right, let's go and check out that other bedroom. 
through here. I guess this is the third bedroom. This one is probably the master bedroom. It has a huge walk-in closet and then a full bath right there. Master bedroom, and again, the design is so sick. Let's not take for granted this, these ceiling designs. I love how the, you got the wood up there, you have the lights, and then you have sort of a tray going around. Absolutely wonderful, everything feels built in. Really cool desk design, like somebody who's not sitting there doing like, you know, hours and hours of work. But it, you know, sit there, you answer some emails, you check your Facebook, you do whatever, unless it's down, like it was yesterday, and the whole world goes crazy. But dude, I love what Cami has done. This build feels super cohesive. It's modern, but it's not like sparse. You know what I mean? It's almost, I wouldn't even call it, what would we call it, contemporary maybe? Look, look at the ceiling designs, I guess all over. We didn't even like, we didn't even go through and appreciate all that. All over, look at these ceilings. And there you have just simple tray lighting, more tray lighting in there. This one's a little bit fancier. This one, oh, that's cool. That is beautiful, actually. Check that out. Dude, that is sick. Okay, Cammy, your ceiling designs are like, I don't know, bar none. They are so cool. I love the built-ins. I love all the features in this. Uh, we've been calling it a modern, but definitely contemporary house. All right, let's go to the back. We saw this outdoor kitchen area. And again, this house has so many different areas to hang out. This one's just like an eating area. And then you go back over here and this is like the chill spot you have a swimming pool that wraps all the way around this like middle section and i'm telling you i'm gonna take some drinks and i'm gonna get drunk and i'm gonna be in the pool splashing whoever's trying to stay dry up there you have some floaties in the pool and more of the statues and then another outdoor eating area with a dope ceiling another dope ceiling cami's like the i don't know the the ceiling meister all of the ceilings in this house were absolutely amazing. Dude, I can't say, oh, it's an infinity pool. I didn't even notice that. I cannot say enough about this build. I love just, it's like, it, it's contemporary. It's not full modern. You have some, some traditional pieces like um, these on the outside of the house. You have the peaked roof, um, gables, like all this stuff. Really, really modern. But you could see this being an actual house. You know what I mean? In like a real neighborhood, you'd be rolling down the street and you could you could envision seeing this house. Love all the details. Kami, thank you so much for building this thing. Definitely a well-deserved build of the week win. Um, guys, I am trying to, I mentioned it in my last video, I'm trying to get my watch hours up. I'm so close to being actually monetized in, on the YouTube platform. And that, I mean, it would just be amazing. I didn't think, oh, we didn't see this car check out this supercar i didn't think that um about wumpus inspired by grizz so i didn't think that it would actually like get this far i never really thought when i started doing these videos that i would ever have a chance to even you know get monetized and i'm still a small channel but the amount of growth i've had um the amount of love i've had from the community um, both on World of Kralis and these other servers, Block Perfect Network, Project Kilbasa, Amberstone. I've been on so many servers, um, and you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for watching all the videos. Thank you so much for commenting. Uh, join my Discord. Ask in the comments how you can get on my Discord. I will drop a link there. Um, just be a part of this amazing community, guys. And like I said, go over to Twitter. Um, we're going to do another game kind of pay it forward giveaway like I used to do um, within the next few days. But that's it, guys. Don't forget to drop some comments, uh, leave some love, like, and subscribe. Until next time, keep putting blocks on other blocks and making awesome stuff.